Hey y'all, welcome back. You obviously know what we got here, so I'm not going to try to trick you, but here's how it came in the box. I'll show a picture of the kit that I got right now. It just came today, and here's how it was packaged, sort of a little couple little piece of air bubbler whatever. But, uh, so the main attraction is this bad boy right here. Super stoked, but he's got the AX33. Um, so since this was the newest one, I got this one. I think it has a little more digital or, or uh, optical zoom and whatever. But um, I went with this kit, which was not much more than just the camera, because it has a whole bunch of cool things that comes with it. Spare batteries. Two batteries. A little cleaning pad for the lens, got card, got card, not sure why the packaging is different between those two, weird, but anyway, and we've got a little flexi tripod thing, we've got a little card reader USB stick deal, and then we've got a really nice looking bag. And last but not least here, we have, um, it's kind of like a mini USB cord, but we've got a USB cord to hook it up. So one other thing that this did not come with that I bought separately was this lens hood. If you're shooting stuff outside, you kind of want one of these. You can see how it goes on the screen that flips out. Pretty awesome. Um, having used that on Ryan's, uh, you want one because if you're shooting outside, it really makes it nice to view that screen. So. Um, let me get a couple things out of the packages here and we'll be right back. All right, I knew there was more stuff. I wasn't sure where it was. So I got to looking in the case here. So this Focus is a whole kit. So here's another little USB card reader. Here is kind of a special hand strap, really padded hand strap to go on the side of the camera. Memory card wallet. A lens band, it's supposed to stop lens creep. I'm not really sure what that does. It's just a soft rubbery band. I've never used anything like that before. Some silica, you don't want anybody to play with that. Sure, so you got your lens cleaning pen here. More silica. Got some dividers in here, Velcro. So you can configure the bag however you want. It's got a lot of dividers. Okay, and then the strap that'll go, that'll hook on here and here so you can use it like a shoulder strap. So all opened up here. Okay, so there's a zippered storage on the underside of the lid. Inside the front here, you have zippered and a couple here. So this is a good spot for batteries or something probably. Another section here in the side. And the other side, show you what's going on there. Um, and then in this white box here, there's like some cleaner and some, some stuff. And I'm not sure what exactly you would need that thing for. Oh, I bet those are lens covers. Yeah, that's probably lens covers. Good. All right, cool. So that's it for that. So now got the bad boy itself. Here's how it's packaged because I know people are interested in that sometimes. So keep in mind in the future videos will have much better quality than today. So you've got a wall cord, another cord, and another cord, and here is a charger with a funky plug to go into the camera. Looks like in here we've got a legit, I can get it out here one handed. Here is a legit battery for the camera, the factory one. It's these other ones, where did they go? They're a little bit different, they're way smaller. Oops. So I guess we'll see. I'm assuming if they come with it, they ought to work with it, right? Bruh. But 
um, here's the size of these guys. And New camera smell, huh? Big floating lens, 20 times optical. That's just crazy. Very cool. I know we've been using the buddies for years, and it's been amazing. That's why I went this route versus any other camera. So I know his is off the chart. And uh, yeah, there's a little for some plugins and stuff. Okay, well, if you guys want to know all the specific little specs and BS, um, I'll let you guys kind of search that stuff on your own. But, there's that plug for power. So the battery will just simply go ping. God, that's a big battery. Look how far that sticks out. I don't know if you could even put your face up to there to look through the viewfinder anymore. Oops, it just turned on. First time ever. So we gotta go through the setup. English. Time zones. Anyways, I'm gonna go through this and we'll be back with some sample footage. Make sure you follow the links down below in the description for everything used and uh, help support the channel. All right, I'm just gonna show a few more things in detail. So I took the card wallet out um, I don't know, do people really put these things on their belts? I don't know, I've never seen anybody, but looks like you could put three um, cards in that. I pulled the cards out of the packages, they appear to be the same. So you've got two different of these card readers. This one's kind of cool. USB on one side there, obviously, but then so you can put a couple little cards in the back and fit a couple in the side. And then this other one that comes with the focus kit fits a couple in the side here, a couple in that side, smashes into a USB like so. Kind of cool. Um, here's the batteries, the auxiliary, uh, spare batteries it comes with. They are like half the size of the other one. So the other one's charging. Um, so I'll do a comparison once it's all done. But obviously, I doubt those will last as long as the other ones. Um, so the bigger stumper is this extra hand guard or strap thing. So it says here, fits most blah, blah, blah. So what is cool about it is it has this to mount into the bottom of your camera. But what I don't understand on this camera is it would go from underneath and then kind of go up at a weird angle. And I don't know. I'll try putting it on once it's done charging, but I don't see this really being too useful. Um, it's also missing, unless I'm missing something here, but it's missing another one of these little buckles to tie it into place. So I'm not sure how you'd fix this other side in unless you use one of the factory ones off the other strap. So kind of incomplete on this. Um, fortunately, I did not get the kit for this. It was just a freebie anyway, so um, the added bonus of the batteries and other stuff makes it worth it. Now this weird little, if I can get back far enough here for you guys, this standy thing, let me get it square again. I started bending these little legs, but they are flexible, so you can bend them whichever way you got to. Once you get them all bent up, it's kind of weird to get them straight again though, but I would assume that's the same with anything. But anyways, you'd be able to wrap these around pipe, do whatever um, to make your camera stay. Now it's got a quick disconnect here. So once you turn this plastic screw and push that, then this little piece comes off, which it does have a little bubble level on it, which is kind of cool. But So you do that, lock it down. Now that piece is secure. 
here you've got a twisty to you know lock this into position um, this is all plastic I wouldn't put a pipe wrench on this and crank it down because it's definitely not going to last in that regard but you know freebies whatever it'll it'll be cool I'll definitely use it um, but you know I've got big tripods for other things so there's a time and a place for everything and I'm sure there's one for that so there's that so once the camera gets done charging I'm also going to see if I can configure the bag a little bit as to how I want to put stuff in there and uh, yeah then we'll format a card and do some footage so if you have one of these you got any tips let me know if you got any questions let me know also don't forget to smash that like button we'll be right back here's the lens cover that I got on you can see how good that works it's a nice sunshade there so pretty awesome you got to put it on and on each time you're going to use it obviously because you can't fold the lens up with it on but it really is great and it's got velcro there so you can adjust the size of it um, link down below in the description to that as well so get this bad boy charged up and then we'll be back with some sweet footage i got it all set up there was enough battery in there to go through it but um, it was flashing at me warning me so definitely want to get her charged up initially so right on all right guys we're using the camera indoors here see how that sound i hope it sounds good to you guys i just got it on default just going to show you these lenses that they came so the clear one i have on here right now just as a cover to kind of keep it safe this here is the tinted one you can see just dark this one here is kind of a purpley tinge i don't know what the heck you'd use that for but anyways there's that so this thing is pretty sweet Yeah, so we'll get outside and get some more footage and uh, let you know what you think. But so far I'm digging it. This steady shot handheld is amazing. This is on the HD 1080 um, highest frames per second. So yeah, we'll be back. All right, y'all, we're out here. We're going to give it a test. Um, just a couple little things here on the settings. I enabled the digital zoom just for this test. Typically, I would never do that. Um, I want optical zoom is best. Um, I've got the card in there. I formatted it in the camera like you're supposed to do. Uh, there is this manual button here. So when I push it, you can see it goes from manual to auto. Well, if you push and hold it, here's all your options you can do. I wanted it to be focus, so I'm gonna leave it at focus and i'm gonna leave it on auto for now but but sometimes there may be an instance where i might want to play with a manual focus for some depth of field or whatever but not too much needed for the kind of things i'm going to do but we're out here at the field just going to kind of take some videos of stuff and show you guys kind of how it looks so here we go so here's one of the biggest reasons to buy this camera you see how that lens is wobbly in there the sensor and everything is on a gimbal so to speak in the camera and that's how it gets such a steady footage because it's amazing all right so i'm going to try my best the audio settings on um, automatic everything's on automatic but so optical zoom will end here is like max optical zoom ish now we're gonna go to digital zoom it's really hard to hold steady but pretty amazing nonetheless okay and now digital zoom is off so now it's just optical zoom only that's all you get there and then again just optical zoom only to the stop sign here
really dark day today. So, oops. So here it has some picture effect shooting images. There's this one called Pop, which makes everything really lively. You can see that's Pop on, Pop off. Definitely makes a little bit of a difference. So I'll just roll through them here. It says toy camera, pop, POS, posterization, retro, soft high key, partial color, black and white, and back to off. I kind of dig the pop one. It almost kind of blows things out a little too much, but on, pop on, pop off. Pop off, like the standard setting here. The grass is a little greener, that fence is a little brighter. Pop is almost too much. It's pretty, pretty extreme, but. And off. Now right, here's my dirty shop stove. We'll try some indoor, close. Kind of let you guys see how it goes. Hoping tomorrow to get out and uh, maybe do some more outside footage, but they claim, see how this works with the 5.1.